Hey there, Anchor Point. Uh, I'm glad that you are um, continuing to press into our series um, on the Sermon on the Mount and more broadly speaking on the Gospel of Matthew. And so encouraged that you are joining uh, in a small group right now to um, press into what was on Sunday a um, difficult topic that, as we all know, is filled with perhaps a lot of questions, um, filled with a lot of emotion even, um, and even personal experience, maybe individually or for a friend or um, family member. And the topic and the issue that we talked about um, was divorce. And in Matthew chapter 5, verses 31 and 32, we saw that Jesus gives two sentences on it. But those two sentences are linked to so much in the scriptures, particularly in the Old Testament. And so you'll remember that we, uh, our path through um, the text and through what Jesus is dealing with dealt first with what the law actually taught about marriage and divorce, how the scribes and Pharisees loosened up uh, divorce to basically mean for any reason, and how Jesus comes along in Matthew chapter 5 and tightens things back up again and upholds um, the beauty and the dignity of marriage between one man and one woman in the context of one flesh for one lifetime. And within that is, we talked about this issue of a rom or nakedness, which is to be expressed only in the context of marriage between one man and one woman. This was all God's good design. And then from there, we traveled back into the um, New Testament and discovered what does all of this mean for us? And so as you're pressing into the questions this morning, or this morning, in your group, maybe you're meeting in the morning, I don't know, but as you are pressing into this group, let me give you a number of the texts that we covered. And you may want to refer to them even as you go through the questions. Here's the text. Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 to 25. This in cases encapsulates God's good law and purposes for marriage and for Aram. Uh, they were naked and without shame. The second verse or text would be Genesis 3, verse 10, where we see that Adam said to God, the reason I hid from you is because I was afraid because I was a Ram, I was naked. And so from that point on, a Ram had been perverted and was on the path toward greater and greater perversion away from God's good design. Then Leviticus 18 and 20, in which God set up good laws to protect his people and protect marriage, to protect men and women um, as they're in marriage and protect them from um, false or uh, corrupted versions of Aram. Then Deuteronomy chapter 24, verses 1 to 4. This is the text that Jesus quotes in Matthew chapter 5, uh, verse 31. You have heard that it was said, any man who divorces his wife must give her a certificate of divorce. It's referencing Deuteronomy 21, which we looked at. Finally, Matthew uh, 19, verses 1 to 9, which is really uh, a broader um, commentary or explanation of what Jesus says in Matthew 5, 31, they, 31 and 32. They parallel each other. And so you may want to look at those texts. I, in fact, I would encourage you to do so, not just in your group, but even in your personal study. Um, the truth of the matter is, uh, marriage is difficult, right? It's difficult because of sin. But what Jesus points to is more than anything, what makes marriage difficult is sexual immorality, pornea or aram. Pornea or Aram or false ver or bad versions of um, expressions of uh, our physical bodies um, will always break down a marriage. Always. It will chip away at it. And the sad reality is the longer it chips away, sometimes marriages don't make it as a result. And so 
Jesus says there is still time. Stay in it. And so I would encourage you as a group to press into this and think hard and think seriously and think pastorally and compassionately as, we, as you navigate this and as we navigate this together as a church. Love you all. God bless. Enjoy your time together.